a museum that actually flies. Yep. And what we do, we fly to different venues, air shows, as well as some schools. We fly to, and they have field trips that come out, and because we're a, a museum in that shows what America did for another country, and it's a good thing we did. And what we do is we educate people, because I know when I went to school, I learned nothing about the Berlin Airlift. I learned about it through aviation, of course, before working at the Berlin Airlift Historical Foundation. And so what we're doing is we're educating people on the history and, um, and just keeping it alive. See, after the war, after the war, Germany was cut up into two pieces. The West and the East. And the people in the East wanted to take over Berlin. We wouldn't let them. So they we flew in all the food they had to have to stay alive. Because the people in the East cut off all the food coming to Berlin. So we flew all of all the food, the flour, everything they had to eat, and everything they had to wear, across the East Germany into West Berlin. We're all volunteers doing this and to do it. I said it's an honor to do it. I meet great people. We go all over the, at least the southeast, sometimes up the Midwest, and um, we do we do a couple dozen air shows at least a year. Actually, one time we'd up to thirty. Usually it's like places like this that we go to that want us to come back all the time. They realize how, how what a great job it, it is and, and how much people enjoy it. And, and so they're, they're willing to come out here and, and have us around. Well, this is my second time coming to the candy drop. This is my son's first time. It's great. There's so many kids that come out. The original lieutenant actually flies this original plane that... Um, dropped the candy the first time in Berlin, which is pretty amazing. I believe he's in his 90s. Um, well, it's my first time, and I'm really excited and hoping I get a chocolate bar. <laughs> And it's great also because the kids, they see the history as, as real, as tangible, you can touch it. You know, these kids now, and a lot of, a lot of it is just as so abstract with the videos and the TV and everything. And here it's like, you know, actual running aircraft, not something that's just dead in a museum somewhere. A lot of places you go to, it's like, oh, it's very nice, but don't touch. You know, stay away from my beautiful airplane. Here, no problem. This is our first year here at the Santa Drop, and we're very excited about getting lots of what? Getting lots of? Candy! Yeah, there you go. Who gets the biggest kick are the people who actually were in Berlin as kids. They come out, like one time, Tim met a, a woman who's actually, there's an age limit, I didn't know this, for the, um, the candy. It was 18 and she had, was just turned 18 and she couldn't go all out for the candy drops and stuff. And she uh, came to one of the air shows and Tim found out about it. He was like, we're doing a candy drop. So like here, we had, had some candy in, on parachutes. And he goes, wait by the cockpit right there, by the front, front cockpit. And he went up and got a parachute, opened the window up, and he dropped it out saying, you're, you know, here you're a kid again. And he dropped it out and she caught it. And uh, you know, it's 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 really the people who were there as kids that get really the biggest, you know, the emotional out of it.
A lot of people come here, you know, like, like, like the Colonel, like the Candy Bomber, Colonel Halverson. They come out here and they do this. And you see this is the actual guy, not somebody in a book or a video or whatever. It's the actual guy that, that started it all. And like he said, you know, one small decision can lead to a life-changing event. And maybe that one, one of these guys here will do something like this when they grow up, cause, because they saw us one time at an air show. I was amazed. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Well, Jim... Because I dropped candy all over. Okay, oh, yeah. so still a minute.